That's why it says after the appointed months, uh, the, the Quran says to give polytheists a few months to leave the land uh, or to decide to become Muslim or to fight. Those are their options. They get a few months, but after the appointed months are over, what? What do we find? Surah 9, verse 5, slay the polytheists wherever you find them, lay siege to them, take them captive. Pretty darn violent. The fact of the matter is, even though these are the things that are found in the Quran, these are the things that are found in the Hadith, we are called as Christians to see Muslims as people, children made in the image of God, broken, apart from God, but still people who are image bearers of God. Are you with me? What is death on a cross? Is that bad? They had invented the most humiliating, painful way to kill someone at exactly the moment in history where God says, yes, that death is still worth it. When they whip you before putting you on the cross, they had determined exactly how to do it so that medically you would be in your most vulnerable state. They took a tail, a cat of nine tails is what it was called, a Roman whip, and they put little leather, dumb, uh, leather balls at the end of them, and they put metal dumbbells and shards of bone on these leather balls so that when they hit your skin, the, the metal dumbbells would cause your blood vessels to vasodilate, bringing more blood to the surface of your skin, so that when the bones would latch into your skin and rip your skin off, you would bleed profusely, and you'd lose all energy. And they do that across your entire body.